One elegant approach in order to address the limitation that we had when we calculated Zm for our mixture is to use what we call K's rule. K's rule was developed in 1963. And for this, we have to calculate two important parameters. One called the pseudo critical temperature. And the pseudo critical temperature is like a new critical temperature that will be colon T prime critical of our mixture. And this new critical value will be a combination of the critical values of each component, okay, of our mixture. The same thing, we can calculate also the pseudo critical pressure. by writing our P prime critical for our mixture will be equal to the summation one to K of Y I cross the critical pressure of each component of our mixture, okay? And now the game actually with K's rule is that we combine or we consider the interaction between the two gases very early in our process, okay? Let's illustrate this using, again, two components. Let's assume we have A here, and we have B here. So A is again defined by TA and PA, and B is defined by TB, and P, B, okay? Since we know gas A and B, what we can also get, we can get T critical of A and P critical of A using a table. And we do the same thing for B. We can get T critical of component B and P critical of component B. So now it's now that we are have to calculate our pseudo critical temperature and pseudo critical pressure. So meaning that we will take this guy and this guy and this we calculate now our pseudo critical temperature of our mixture of A and B as equal to Y A critical temperature of A plus Y B critical temperature of B, okay? And then we will take the critical pressure of A, critical pressure of B, we combine them to get now the pseudo critical pressure. So P prime critical of our mixture is equal to what is equal to y a p critical of a plus y b p critical of b so now we have the new pseudo critical temperature and pressure now we can combine so now we are not talking anymore about a versus b separated okay now Everything here that we are talking about, it's about the mixture. So now what we can do, we have the new critical, uh, so the critical temperature and pressure for the mixture. So now we can calculate the reduced temperature for our mixture, which is equal to the temperature of our mixture over the pseudo critical temperature of our mixture and our reduced pressure is equal to what of the mixture is equal to the actual pressure of our mixture over this new term, the pseudo critical pressure of the mixture. We have the two ingredients to use our chart, compressibility chart. From here, we get the value of Zm that we can plug in our equation. So. What we have to understand here, okay, 
And we have to understand two things. The first one is that you see that we combine, we consider now the interaction between A and B very early in the process, okay? While in the previous approach, what we did, we considered actually the, the interaction only at the end when we calculated Zm, okay? The second thing is that in our previous approach, how many times we had to use our compressibility chart in this example? We had actually to use it twice, ZA and ZB. If you have K components, you will be getting K values of Z, okay, for each component. While here in case rule, how many times actually we use the compressibility chart? We use just once, okay? because we combined all our gases at an earlier stage to get our crit pseudo critical temperature and pseudo critical pressure and then from this we got only one single value for zm that we can plug in our pm vm is equal zm and m are universal t